Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faisha Rafadeen. I'm a former biology teacher and current instructional coach, passionate about making teaching easier and more impactful. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create and use drag and drop activities on Google Slides. Drag and drop activities are easy to make, super versatile, and a lot of fun for students. I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial of how you can make different types of drag and drop activities using Google Slides. I'll be also showing you different examples of some drag and drop activities that I've already made and how they can be applicable for different subject areas. Now I love saving time for teachers whenever possible, so I've actually pre-created a few of these drag and drop activities and you can find a link to these free templates in the description box below this video. So the first type of drag and drop activity you can create is something like this where it involves a graph or a table. Now make sure to keep watching till the end of this video because I will walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create a drag and drop activity just like this one. So let's take a look at this type of drag and drop activity in action. This is a science example. Here I have three different categories and I want students to drag the correct answer to its location on the table. Now this activity is super simple, as you can see, very simple to set up and do, but it's still a lot more engaging than if it was just a paper and pencil based activity. Now alternatively, you can also create a drag and drop graphic organizer, such as this Venn diagram over here, and students can um, drag their answers into its correct location on the Venn diagram. These categories here are completely customizable or editable, and you can change them. So essentially you can create one copy of this Venn diagram and use it for multiple activities and multiple topics, and all you, ha you would have to do is change um, the categories and the answer options over over here. You can also use a similar idea for math where you have students drag the correct answer to the different math problems. So again, these boxes are editable. You can change the math problem um, depending on the specific skill that you are targeting in your math class. And students would just simply uh, drag the correct answer to the uh, box representing the problem that the answer is kind of associated with. Another really cool way that you could create a drag and drop activity for math is um, creating digital manipulatives. Now these number blocks here are just simply images that I found on Google. So if you search for math number blocks, you can kind of find an image that works for you. And that's, this is the image I ended up, um, uh, this one actually, that I ended up using here and I just kind of cropped it. And I created multiple copies of each number block. That way, when a student drags um, one number block as they are kind of completing this uh, problem over here, um, they will have multiple copies of it underneath in case they need more. So they would drag the blocks in order to represent the problem or the numbers that you would have for this drag and drop activity and again these are completely customizable depending on your activity and the question if you have limited resources in your classroom or you're teaching hybrid and trying to keep in mind covid restrictions this year this is an excellent alternative to this type of physical modeling activity where you could create and use digital math manipulatives in order to accomplish the same objective now, the last example of a drag and drop activity I want to show you today is this labeling activity. Again, I pulled this particular image from Google, so you can find so many options depending on the activity that you're doing. And you'll notice that the background, okay, including the instructions, is fixed in place. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do that next. Uh, but the reason why I do that is to prevent students from kind of moving things that should not be moved around, um, which can end up confusing them depending on their age group. So you'll notice that the image and the instructions are fixed and all the students would have to do is then move the um, correct label to its position on the image like this. Obviously my geography skills are very poor, so that's definitely not a correct representation of the labels, but you get the idea. 
Now, next, I'm going to be walking you through a step by step tutorial on how to create a few of these drag and drop activities, just like the one I have here behind me. If you'd like to skip this tutorial and just use the pre existing templates that I've linked in the description box below, you are more than welcome to do that, or else just keep watching for a guided tutorial. In order to create a graphic organizer drag and drop activity like this one, create a new slide. First, you will begin by creating all of your slides fixed elements. So I will make the instruction box using the shape tool up here. Then I will add a table and I'm going to select three by two. I will add all of the necessary headings. Recolor, change the font. Once you have all of your fixed elements done, screenshot the entire slide because we're going to be adding this as a background. Select background from the top toolbar and upload your screenshot. Notice how all these elements are now fixed in place and your students will no longer be able to move them around, which is exactly what you want. Next, we will create all of the movable elements. I will use the shape tool again and add all of my movable answer boxes. Change the font, recolor. Once you have all of the answer boxes done, these should be your unfixed elements on the slide and they should be able to be moved around by the students so that way they can drop the correct answer in its correct location on the graphic organizer. Follow the same steps for any other drag and drop activity you may create. Let me show you another way you can create a drag and drop activity using a pre-existing image just like this one. First, find an image that works for you online. So let's pretend I want my students to label the parts of the flower. I want to find an unlabeled image of the flower parts on Google. Copy the image. Add it to the slide. Next, I'm going to be creating an instruction box. It's super important to always include clear instructions for your students on the slide so they know exactly what to do. Once I have all the fixed elements done, once again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to screenshot the slide and add it as a background image. All I have to do now is add all of my movable answer boxes, just like before. And that way students can drop the correct answer next to the label on the image. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share it with any other educators that might benefit from drag and drop activities. In the comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. How have you been using drag and drop activities in your classroom or how do you plan on incorporating these templates in your subject area? Have a great day.